So we'll let that dry and we'll get that bolted on there. Well, here is what we have going on today. We're doing a little bit of detailing, if you will. We've got this manure pump that we need to diagnose and see what's wrong with it. And Jason and Jaden are in here and they're doing a little bit of detail work on these tractors. Nate, um, Nate and Jaden ended up waxing this 7730 yesterday after they changed the oil on it. They scrubbed the front rims on it. They look pretty good. In my last video, I showed you how we were using that SOS pad to scrub the uh, yellow part of the rims. And uh, Lukens, Nate Lukens, ended up doing these wheels on this 9410, and they look awesome. Jason's uh, got some stuff that he's going to do. Uh, to this 9410 there's the we've got an issue with the steering column once you let, raise the steering column up if the lights are on the lights kick out so we've got a short in the steering column and he's going to pull the rear weights off both of them have got some scrub marks on them from scrubbing the bunk wall so he's going to remove the both of them. We're going to paint those. And then we need to take this dual off of this right-hand side. And we need to get a little paint on it. We had a little bit of an issue with it a few years ago. And we had to get after it with a torch. And we kind of lost some of the paint. So we're going to take that dual off and paint that rim. Another problem that we have with this tractor is the roof. The clear coat has come off of the roof on it. Can't quite see that from here, but once we get the roof off in there, we'll show you what that has had happen to it. And um, Jaden's got some waxing to do on the back side of this 7730 and then in the next few days we need to get after the brakes on this 7730 so this tractor's got oh what does it have for hours on it i think it's got like 7,000 hours on it yeah it's got just shy of 8,000 hours on it and this tractor here is a 2006 model so it's 15 years old and it looks pretty good for 15 years old. So well, let's get after things here and we'll join back up with you in a little while after we progress through or as we progress through the rest of the morning here. Getting her figured out there, bub. Wax on, wax off, buddy. Wax on, wax off. What's that? Oh, you can do it either way. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Well, here is what we figured out so far, that is. Took the cover off of this gearbox, and there's no oil. It's got manure in there. So, there's a bearing gone in this gearbox, or it's just a seal. And the... Um, oil kind of left it and uh yeah so we need to get this one rebuilt as well i was afraid of that because this one doesn't really have any iron uh that needs replacing on it so this square tube here is loaded with oil this pump is setting this way and i just had this cover off of here a minute ago and the oil is right up in there full so this is the diaphragm pump that we use to transfer our used oil over into our furnace and we're going to use that to get the oil out of this and we're going to pump it into this barrel Jaden has been working on waxing this 7730 he's got some more work to do to it I ended up having to order 
these panels that sit on this back side there's one on the right and one on the left so i've got those ordered we're going to touch up the paint on this black grill here now i had said earlier that this tractor was an 06 i misspoke this tractor is an 08 so this is a 2008 it is uh 13 years old so we better get to pumping some oil here and then we'll unbolt this and get this off of there and uh yeah we better get to work huh jay all right this is a much cleaner way of doing this opposed to trying to catch it in a pail um i don't know i i don't remember offhand what this tube holds for oil but it's quite a bit i think it's more than 55 gallons i don't remember i don't know but that's sucking it down nicely Well, we've got the oil drained out of this box tube for the most part. I'm draining whatever, what little bit is left in there into a five gallon pail. And then we're going to have to kick that drain bucket underneath the back side of this tube once we pull this away. So we're ready to put a little assistance on there to get that away from there. And then we'll show you what Jason's got going on with these wheel weights and that one dual wheel there so we are ready to lift this off of here now then we'll flip this over and we'll see what this fan looks like it's all full of sand right now but we'll lift that off in there and see what things look like here all right so this is what this looks like with the bottom uh still on there we got to pull all that manure out i might as well take the bottom off it'll clean out easier and um yeah so this shaft here ended up coming off of the spline shaft right there so we're gonna have to line that back up see that there pulled apart from there and uh this is what jason's working on he's got his wheel weights cleaned up and he has sanded uh this rim down he's gonna get some primer on there and then we're gonna paint the whole wheel he's doing here is he's using an SOS pad and he's taking the dullness out of this paint this wheel probably needs to be painted again anyways 
but this is shining it up pretty good here. You can see the outside of that hub. Make a couple of passes on that. On this part? Yeah. That's better than waxing, you know? It's quite a difference there. They did this same thing to the wheels on the uh, 9410. We're probably, we're actually gonna throw a coat of paint on this, but um, just wanted to show you what an SOS pad will do. If the rust wasn't on there and the paint wasn't missing. That would look real good. Okay, we got the bottom off of this pump. And this fan here looks like brand new. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send this stuff to Ortel Supply. And uh, he's going to actually rebuild these. They have all the parts they need on the shelf. Then we're not waiting for different shims and seals and stuff like that as we get working on it so we're gonna send that off here in the morning and um, he might be able to get this apart without taking that fan off that way we won't have to ruin the uh, fan itself so we're gonna set this on that pallet and uh, we're gonna load it in the back of one of the trucks and send it And that is how that is done. So we'll let that dry and we'll get that bolted on there. Got the weights done as well. Well, we are just about ready to pull this pump outside. And what we're going to do, we've got this framework unbolted. We're going to lift the tail end up with a telehandler. And then we're gonna pull this wheel assembly out from underneath it and then we're gonna bring this back in the shop so that we can weld uh, that up. It's just not gonna be the greatest spot to weld in underneath that thing. So we can do a better job if that was taken apart. However, we need to get it outside to get it apart. We'll be able to, we'll have more area to work in here. So we had a lay flat hose hookup on here. We just took that there off. And when we took that off, that whole pipe there was full of manure, the liquid. And that's what you see all over the floor here. So we had a little bit of a flood here. So Tim ended up taking this gearbox here out to Ortel along with the other one. And we have to replace this gearbox. The uh, manure had gotten into it, it ruined the gears, and it's going to be cheaper to buy a whole new gearbox. So you might be wondering what's going on with this unit here. And Jason's painting uh, the front wheels on it. And we're going to work on getting the brakes done, or doing the brakes here in a little while. And uh, once he puts another coat of paint on there, we'll be able to... Uh, get this down off the jacks roll it ahead and start in on doing the rear brakes 
Well, we're trying to get this thing here apart. We've got one more cylinder to get off of there. And then we can take this outside and get this lifted up off the frame. Jake is here. He's going to give us a hand doing the brakes on this. So they've got the oil drained out of it. And they're going to get that right hand side off. Of the 7730 here in a minute. Doing an oil change on the 9320. And they're waiting to get that back together. They're kind of working in tight quarters here. All right, we're doing this a little differently than when we did the 7200. Left the wheel on the hub and they're taking everything all off as one. This is how they regularly do it anyways. You take a tractor that's got tools on it or something like that, they take the whole unit right off of there. Second Tim, straighten your wheel. Oh yeah. Oh, that's why I did it. Well, you wanted to pull away from that fuel. What are these ones gonna look like, Jake? Oh, looks no, pretty good. Was not too bad. A couple marks there, but that's normal. <laughs> what you say the left is usually the side that wears out first? Seems like it, yeah. Yeah. Well. Alright, this side's not as bad as I thought it was. I was looking at the wrong part, but uh, this side's kind of like new. So they're going to roll the parts into this. We're going to run up and take this pump apart. And uh, we'll come back down as they're putting it all back together here. Okay. I don't know, I've never seen I've seen bad ones. All right, we just got to pull these bolts out on this clamshell so that we can get this wheel assembly out from underneath the pump itself. So we got the back end held up with a telehandler. We're going to have to raise the pump up in the air. We're using the landing gear to kind of stabilize that so the damn thing doesn't tip over. When we were putting this pump together, when it was brand new, it was all setting on blocks and they came in and wheeled this assembly underneath it. And I was trying to get the landing gear down. I had that valve body assembly over on this side and the damn pump tipped over. And it landed on top of me. And that bolt right there hit me in the shoulder. It knocked me down. It pushed me away from the pump and that uh, bolt right there came down and it bounced off me on the ground and then the pump was about this high off the ground so because it wasn't able to tip all the way over so what had happened was it was bouncing on the uh, blocks and um, we we're trying to get the landing gear to go down we put that landing gear down on the other side and when that went down on the other side it tipped it over off of the block so I was a hurting unit for quite a while. That, my shoulder freaking ached like hell from that one inch bolt right there. And I had a round ring right on my shoulder from that. So now we're gonna be able to lift this up and pull that unit out from underneath.
All right, we've got that lifted up off of there. They've got a chain hooked to it. And they should be able to just pull it out from underneath there. And then we'll set this on a couple of blocks of wood. And um, we'll put this back together once we get that frame fixed. if it wouldn't be a bad idea if we took that off. Good thing. Yeah. We'll have to be pretty high. You guys smell that? Yeah. That's an old stuff. Yeah. All right. Camera's running. Oh, you just here? Yeah. We got that set in there decently. We'll just get the tractor unhooked from it. We'll leave this here for now until we get this unit here all welded back together. All right, we're just gonna carry this up to the shop, start working on it, and this is where we're gonna sign off on this video here. We're gonna get working on this. And we'll be working on that 7730, and we'll see that in the next video, I guess. So what do you want to tell everybody, Nate? Hit the thumbs up, you know. Thumbs up, subscribe. There comment. you go. Comment if you want to. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get this up to the shop. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you at the next video.